Hi, this is Miss Bell, and in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the electromagnetic spectrum. What we see as light is only a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum refers to the many types of radiation released from stars, including our own sun. Electromagnetic spectrum travels in waves. Frequency describes how many waves per second a wavelength produces. Wavelength measures the length of an individual wave in meters. Scientists describe the electromagnetic spectrum as a long line. At the end lie radio waves. Radio waves have the longest wavelengths of all the electromagnetic waves. They range from around a foot long to several miles long. Radio waves are often used to transmit data and have been used for all sorts of applications including radio, satellites, radar, and computer networks. After radio waves come microwaves, which produce more energy due to shorter wavelengths and higher frequencies. Microwaves are shorter than radio waves with wavelengths measured in centimeters. We use microwaves to cook food, transmit information, and in radar that helps to predict the weather. Microwaves are useful in communication because they can penetrate clouds, smoke, and light rain. The universe is filled with a cosmic microwave background radiation that scientists believe are close to the origin of the universe they call the Big Bang. Next comes infrared light. The sun, fire, living creatures, and other heat sources all produce infrared light. While we cannot see infrared light, we feel it as heat. Between microwaves and visible light are infrared waves. Infrared waves are sometimes classified as near-infrared and far-infrared. Near-infrared waves are the waves that are closer to visible light in wavelength. These are infrared waves that are used in your TV remote to change channels. Far infrared waves are further away from the visible light in wavelength. Far infrared waves are thermal and give off heat. Anything that gives off heat radiates infrared waves. This includes the human body. The visible light spectrum covers the wavelengths that can be seen by the human eye. From visible light, we move into ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet waves have the next shortest wavelength after visible light. It is ultraviolet rays from the sun that cause sunburns. We are protected from the sun's ultraviolet rays by the ozone layer. X-ray wavelengths at the other end of the spectrum are much shorter, so they are high energy. Machines of the same name use the waves to see inside people. X-rays have even shorter wavelengths than ultraviolet rays. At this point in the electromagnetic spectrum, scientists begin to think of these rays more as particles than waves. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths and the highest energy on the spectrum. We can use them to see inside some buildings. Gamma rays are the shortest waves in the spectrum and, as a result, have the most energy. Gamma rays are sometimes used in treating cancer and in taking detailed images for diagnostic medicine. Gamma rays are produced in high-energy nuclear explosions and supernovas. Electromagnetic radiation is all around you. Don't worry, it's just energy from light. Radiation travels in waves like an ocean. Some wavelengths are long, others are short. The whole range of energy waves is called the electromagnetic spectrum. Our eyes see only visible light, the rainbow light waves found around the middle of the spectrum. With bare eyes, 
we can see other wavelengths on the spectrum called invisible light, but some animals and technologies can. These see ultraviolet light waves from the sun. Flowers have UV markings called pollen guides. These see a bull's eye for nectar. It's all about light from heat with mosquitoes. They see in infrared and easily find you and your warm blood. Radio waves have the longest waves on the spectrum, so they have the lowest energy. An MRI machine uses these waves to see tissues and bones up close. Microwaves have long waves and low energy too. The Doppler radar images you see on your local weather are made from this. X-ray wavelengths at the other end of the spectrum are much shorter, so they are high energy. Machines of the same name use the waves to see inside people. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths and the highest energy on the spectrum. We can use them to see inside some buildings.